हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर यू विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू गिव डायमेंशन टू अ स्केच इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस ऑफ प्योर पैरामेट्रिक स्केच पार्ट वन टू एंड थ्री वी लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू यूज बेसिक स्केचिंग टूल्स एडिटिंग टूल्स एंड कंस्ट्रेन दिस इज योर स्केच विंडो दिस आर द स्केचिंग टूल्स these are the editing tools these are the constraints this is the tools from which you will give dimension to a sketch this tool is used to give any kind of dimension horizontal distance vertical distance tangential distance center to center distance angular distance radius diameter now we will see examples of each of them now i am sketching one rectangle and this rectangle has two dimension one horizontal length and second vertical length this is a sketch window it is an infinite plane there are no references and if you want to keep references we will use center line and first we will click vertical and second horizontal now consider this intersection as your origin now you observe that when you put two references in your sketch two more dimensions are included these two dimension this is your horizontal dimension this is your vertical dimension now whenever you place a sketch all the dimensions are in light blue color and whenever you place a cursor on it it shows that that dimensions are weak now what does weak dimension means weak dimensions automatically comes when you place any sketch and to get a perfect sketch you need to make those dimensions strong now how to make dimensions strong you can make it strong by editing those dimension say for example i want a fixed length of 7 i will enter 7 and then okay whenever you will edit those dimension you will see that it turns into dark blue color and whenever you you place a cursor on it it will show you that it is a strong dimension now this is strong dimension this is weak dimension again you need to change the vertical length 3.5 again the color of the dimension changed now these two dimensions are weak now in case you don't want this dimension you want the distance of the center line from this end point so you will use this tool normal click on normal select the construction line select the line from which you want your distance to be placed and click left and then center click now you can see that the weak dimension which was here before is automatically deleted and the new dimension is formed by using this normal command now enter the value of the dimension which you want the command still is on to escape the command press scroll button now this dimension is automatically placed and that dimension is automatically deleted now if i'm making this dimension strong by editing it and again i don't want this dimension i want to place the dimension from this horizontal line to this construction line then what will happen you see click on normal select the horizontal line select the construction line by using left click and then place the left click where you want to place the dimension and then scroll click now the message is prompted to you of resolving the sketch now what does the resolve sketch means now for this entity to be exist only two dimensions are needed it is obvious that we cannot place this dimension if these two dimensions are already placed and by giving it a strong dimension or by making any dimension strong it means that we are setting prior priorities that we want that dimension in the previous case where we used the dimension this one and the other dimension was automatically deleted because that dimension was weak in this case this dimension is strong so this is asking us the message from these three dimensions which dimension we need to eliminate 
you cannot place two dimension at one time is it, it is obvious because you cannot say this is 3.5 this is 6 and this to be 10 obviously if it is 3.5 and 6 then it should be 9.5 so two dimensions are driving the third dimension so it is necessary to resolve the sketch and to delete one dimension select the dimension which is not your priority say for example i don't want this 6 i so i will click on 6 and then i will delete the sketch in this way you can play setting a strong dimension means giving it a priority that we want that dimension in our sketch escape the command by using scroll click select this sketch you learned about how to place horizontal and vertical dimension from this rectangle sketch now we will see for circle I am placing one circle at the intersection of this horizontal and vertical construction line now you can see that this dimension is a weak dimension you can make it strong by second way that click on the dimension hold the right click and then select the strong in this way you can make this dimension strong now you made this dimension strong means you gave him the priority to be in the sketch now again I'm selecting normal then you will click only once and on the circle and next click on outside the circle and then scroll button I mean radius will be placed now this is also asking us to resolve sketch why because already we ha have given the priority of this diameter so from this two dimension only one can be placed so if you don't want the diameter to be indicated select the diameter delete delete it or the other option is keep it as a dimension reference now what does dimension reference mean Dimension reference means when you uh, create a dimension as a dimension reference, we cannot edit the that dimension. I, if I am double clicking on the dimension, it will prompt me a dialog box. Modify reference dimension is not allowed. This is a given dimension, and whenever you change the radius, say for example, I am making this radius ten, the reference dimension is automatically changed this dimension is driving this dimension ok we will see next now I will select the circle I will delete the sketch now we have seen how to give the radius and diameter again we will see that I am sketching two circle and I want to give this dimension radius select normal command only one click on circle other cling outside the circle then scroll click in this way you can place the radius if you want to place the dimension double click on the circle and then place outside the circle for radius you have to click once and for diameter you have to click twice selecting the circle and then deleting it so next we will see how to give angular dimension I'm sketching one angular line now in this automatically this dimension is generated both the dimensions are weak and I want to place dimensions according to me say for example I want this slanted distance so I will click on the line and I will place the dimension over the line so this is slanted dimension I have given the slanted dimension priority so this vertical dimension which was here before is automatically deleted press scroll button to escape the dimension now next dimension I want to give the angular dimension between this line and this line so normal command is on select the line select the other line from where you want the angular distance and click in between them and then press control scroll button in this way you can give the angular dimension same rules applies to angular dimension that I have given this two priorities 
and now I'm wa I'm trying to place the third dimension from this line to this line so it will ask me the message to resolve the sketch for this line to exist only two dimensions are needed so delete one dimension which we don't want I don't want 123.3 I will select it and I will delete this was your angular dimension now we will see for tangential distance so select the line delete now I'm sketching two circles one over here and next over here now whenever I will place the sketch the dimensions are automatically generated now we will give our priority first of all I will make the tangential line from the circle to the circle second from the circle to the circle I want to delete it use delete segment select the entities which you want to delete now these three are the dimension now I want to place tangential distance from circle end select normal command select this semicircle select this semicircle click here with left click and then scroll click to place the dimension in this way you can place the tangential distance enter the value which you want to accept the command press scroll double click on the dimension to give it a priority in this lecture we have learned about how to give dimensions to a sketch in the next video we will learn about Creo parametric sketch part 5 in that lecture we will see how to make a complete sketch thank you for watching this video for learning Creo parametric subscribe my channel for any queries email me at newspark79 at the rate gmail.com and also you can comment me on the comment section given below.